Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can choose one. Hey! Hey, naughty, naughty. Oh, Easy. What, this doesn't happen at radio stations. There's no guy next door where they're like, hey, Bob in the morning's next door. He's angry. Well, because they got a studio. We're just in an office, folks. We're making the move. Wheels are in motion. Yes. We're talking to a buddy. We're going to be moving soon. But the, the lawyer's door is open. Door is open. This is open a first. Door. Open door policy. Yikes. I haven't seen. Have you seen him in the flesh? Do you know what he I looks like? I don't know like, what he Jack? looks like. No, I don't. He's, I, he's little. I think he's little. 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 I think he's no, tiny. He's no. big. He's, he's, he's like William Wallace. He's, he's 6'11. Little. He hits his wife. Fireballs out of his eyes and bolts of lightning from his arse. I'm picturing like a big ogre in a suit. Just like, bah, or like a bull with a with you know, air coming out of his nose. You know who I'm picturing is uh, Chris Cuomo. Like oh, ripped, handsome, curly. No. You know, yeah, and rip. I think he's one of these guys who's like 61. He's a lawyer and he does, you know, jujitsu and like can hold himself up on one palm. Oh, yes. I think he's yes. one of those guys. I know what you mean. But the way he talks, he gets free pie. I can hear him. Free talking. pie. Really? Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, that's, uh, I remember that line. Oh, you yeah. How he talks to waiters. <laughs> he gets free pie. He gets free pie. <laughs> uh, but anyways, he's scary. He's scary. He's terrifying. The door's wide. I think he's a little Jewish guy. He's like an angry. <laughs> A little, Don't uh, say that again. One will appear. Oh God! All right, all right. <laughs> He's already appeared. He's here. <laughs> I'm terrified. All right, but anyways, we're nervous. And uh, some, by the way, a bunch of people wrote. They're like, "Why do you have to be quiet?" Fuck mm, him. That's a great. Well, that's but I'm our like, whole we're, we're children. Like he's gonna clunk our heads together. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. We're doing a we're doing a cartoon podcast in here. <laughs> also, <laughs> he's, he's doing a businessman. No, he's like running a lawyer shop over there, and we're just assholes <laughs> talking about creaming in our parents' assholes. I know. We call it a lawyer shop. That's a bad sign. <laughs> So yeah, we're screwed. Eddie could sue us. What are we gonna do? Zing him? <laughs> we got have, nothing. Someone someone suggested like have Chuck go over and give him a talking to. He'll scare him. And I'm like, what are you talking, Chuck? About? No, I'm the no. biggest pussy out of the three of us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I could beat the snot out of Chuck. Are you kidding? You should see the sneakers he's wearing. Uh, he could run away in those. He's got to no. pump them up first. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to, you know, have his jacket tried automatically. Back, back to the future references. Two. Folks, all right, all right. Well, we're back. We're live. We're here. At, uh, we're recording on a Wednesday. I haven't seen you since the seventies. Yeah, I don't know what's going you, on. Buddy. Last time I saw you was at the stand. Where? And you oh. bailed on me. I, it was a good. Ha- I was. It was with the loser group. It was a bunch. It was Nerd Central. You yeah. showed up. It was like an oasis. Oh, thank you. Good band. And then uh, I was like, let me run downstairs. I was like, don't go anywhere. I almost duct taped you to the chair. And yes. then I went downstairs. Like you're getting bumped by someone. And I was like, sweet. At least I got Norman upstairs. I run up, and and you were gone in a puff of smoke. Well, I did some day drinking, and I was banged up. I was out with DeRosa and all these guys, and we did shots all day. And boy, it was. It was tough. I didn't know who you were. I was talking to Jim Florentine. I thought he was Schumer. Yeah, you really hit him with some hard questions, Did too. I? Yeah, yeah. You were like uh, Mike Wallace on, on a black and white TV. Blackface? <laughs> um, I don't remember any of it. I don't. What did we talk about? Yeah, well, you were like, you ever fuck this lady? You ever fuck that lady? And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, I got it out. Oh, boy. Well, I'm glad I left. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Oh, and, God. Uh, I went on the train and I mugged someone. It was, I had to get out of there. It was cuckoo, but uh, yeah, it was good to see. I don't see in the wild all that That's much. That's true. We're running around. We're ships in the queef. And no skank fest. You're missing skank ah, fest. Don't remind me. It's killing me. It's going to be so fun. I got eight people tell Where are you staying? What's the hotel? What, what number you at? What, what shows you doing? I'm like, ah, I'm missing Woodstock. I know, I know. In Vegas. Ah, we got, Vegas, going to be baby. hookers and strippers. And by the way, Sarah had to bet. So I'm oh. untethered. I'm, it's gonna be crazy. I'm I'll gonna, come to her place. I'm gonna cheat. You're not staying in my room. What we, are you crazy? We could have fucked. <laughs> um, it's bad. gonna be. It's gonna be wild. I'm gonna be at the strip club at 8 a.m. I'm gonna be at the sports book at 8:15 a.m. And I'm gonna be uh, back in my room crying at 8:17. Yeah. Well, I know the schedule. Shit. I'm so bummed. It's what are you doing? Are you doing what? Kansas City or well, some horse shit? Yeah, worse. Here's the clinker. Uh. I'm doing. You know, every week you go. Hey, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You're on the road at some horseshit club. 
For some reason, the stars aligned in a bad way, and I'm doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday at a club. Mm. And it just happened to fall on those days. Uh. I, I thought I was going to have Sunday, and I was going to whiz right over. I'm at a Orlando Improv. I'm going to get heckled for three days, and then and, and my ass reamed. You know who you are. You're Marill. You Wait. Marilled me. What do you mean? The doing the work and not the fun. We talked about him in Skankfest. Well, I we want to be there. oh, jeez, he, he doesn't worry. He's like, oh, can you believe people are going to Skankfest? I'm like, what are you, crazy? I'm canceling weekends. Well, the difference is I want to go. He doesn't want to go. No, and he doesn't want to go. Secondly, I got screwed on this weekend. It's just a rare weekend with, oh. the, with the Sunday show. I'm, I'm fucked. Fuck! I know, and then I tried Fart. to go Thursday, and she was like, we don't need you on Thursday. I'm like, come on, you're killing me, fatty. Oh, it's going to be brutal, and you know what's going to happen all week. Everyone, where's Normand? I How come know. Norman's not here? It happened last year. You should get a sign. You should get like a, like a what are you, a sandwich board. Like, hey, he's not here, leave me alone. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. I'll get a sandwich board or a shirt. By the way, the shirts are selling like hotcakes really? out there. You really hooked me, you hooked me up with two guys. One stunk and never got back to me. Uh. The other one was great, first class, Paul. Paul, he's Paul. good. My Don't name's Paul. That's between y'all. Hide the bodies. P. Diddy. Yes. Go get some shirts on there. Check him out. Yeah, he uh, and, and Jason Katz. Oh, yeah. Katzy. All right. Katz and Moyer. It. Yeah, but I'm. It, it's hurting. It's killing me. I'm yeah. not going. It crushes me. It's going to be nuts. And where are you? Florida? Orlando. Orlando. The worst, are you the worst improv. I know. Sorry, oh Orlando. God. I know. Tickets aren't oh. even moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow the brains out. I get it. Hey, I'm the one missing it. Mickey Mouse ears. We're gonna be with uh, knee deep in pussy. I know. I'm gonna be talking to some old bag about her retarded son. You know it's gonna be a second bachelor party. Oh, Two God. bachelor parties. Get out of here. Uh, fuck. Man. Me, big, Ari, big. Bo Bobby, Kramer, the Butler, Lewis, the roast, the the goddamn comedy jams. Man, are you doing a roast? Tits. No, no roast. Good. It's a lot of work. It is. But it was fun last time. Oh, it was a humdinger. Yeah. I watched that puppy on my phone and I was howling on a on a rental car. And he jizz. Uh well, where you been? What are you what are you up to? Woo How about this? On the way over, I had two things happen to me. This city's mm. kooky. You know me, I live in the Westville, and I'm walking to the train, and an older guy, like a little kind of like a nebbishy older white guy, goes, Do you have a minute? And I was like, Actually, I, I kind of don't. And he was like, Oh, okay, okay. One question Is this the village? And I go, Oh, yeah, I could tell. He's, he's a little nervous. He's like kind of skittish. And I'm like, Yeah, it's the West Village. He goes, Huh. Okay, well, where are all the shops? And I go, oh, geez. All right, well, go down Bleecker, and you'll see all the cool shops. And he's like, now, where's Bleecker? I'm like, oh, boy, where are you from? He goes, Brooklyn. And I go, wow. Brooklyn? And he goes, I'm from Bensonhurst. I've never left Brooklyn. This Come guy on. must have been 70 years old, I swear to God. <laughs> so now I'm fascinated. I'm like, what? You Come never on. left? So now I'm pulling up a chair. We're doing a pod. I got a podcast with this guy. Oh, wow. It's called uh, Don't Sleep Till the Village. And... We just sat and talked for like two minutes. No kidding. Wow. Never left Brooklyn. I mean, that's uh, goofy. But he's like just an old white guy. And it, it's just, that's how it was back then. I think it was like, whoa, Manhattan, that's big city lights. I think so. Yeah. Well, Manhattan, I think to those people, was the same as Manhattan to us. It's like we're going down to see a Broadway show. The lights, the glitter, the glamour. Exactly. It's scary. If you live in Brooklyn, if you live in Kansas, I think it's like... Here we go. Here we go. And it, he was just like an old Irish guy, and he was like, okay. And then I watched him walk away, and he had those weird little old man steps. Ah, uh, like his shoes are tied together. Yes, shoes tied. And uh, he's he's going to go look at a shop and see one price and have a heart attack. But, I, I, uh, I can't imagine, man. I haven't been down to the village shops in a, in a minute. but uh, Yeah, but he'll get shanked. He Boy, stayed in Brooklyn. I remember shopping for a tie there when I did Letterman back in 2013, and it was like, $190 for a tie. No. I'm telling you. Ooh, tie one on. Yeah. Mm. Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are they still around? I keep I, hearing it's going to get uh, destroyed or something. Thailand. Yeah. Well, one of them, it was a, soc a soccer team full of boys, got caught in a cave, which sounds like a fantasy of mine. Socrates. That was Chile. No. Chile. Chilean miners. It's pretty hot out. Remember the I miners? Think that was, uh, I think that was Thai. All right. Chilean sea bass. Kick his ass. Give that a goog. I'm pretty sure it was Thai soccer. That sounds like something. All right. But then there was Chilean miners. Remember the yes, Chilean miners? A bunch of yes. under 18 year Again, old kids. Fantasy. But S Stavros just called. That's always weird. Oh. Like this. Is he dying? He's coming to the wedding. Oh, Maybe fun. something with that. Oh. I just bring it back to me. But <laughs> uh, Taiwan is tsunami. 
They get hit with that. Right, but then China's going to get them. That's what? what you keep saying, right? What do you mean get them? Isn't that Taiwan? I, don't I think know. so. Oh, when, when Russia took Ukraine, they were like, China's going to get oh. t- Taiwan next. Is that Ooh. where Pelosi's tits went? What do you mean? I think she went. Her, brought her tits to Taiwan. Oh, I don't know. I remember it was a big deal. I got the Thailand uh, football team thing. Aha. Uh-huh. In June and July 2018, a junior association football team and their assistant coach were rescued from the Tam Luang Nang Non Cave in <laughs> Chiang Rai province in northern Thailand. That sounded like hip. Hop, hip, 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 Taiwan, non cave, Bang, wang, cave. <laughs> but yeah, it was in Thailand. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. How oh, about I that? see. Shortly thereafter, heavy rainfall partially flooded the cave system, blocking their way out. There oh, gee, they have a cave go. system. Cave system. That's mm. cool, like Batman, like uh, ant farm, like an ant farm. Ah, creek in the cave. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, either way, what was I talking about? I'm not sure. Oh. Thailand tits. So the old guy, oh, yeah. I have to leave him. I'm like, dude, the clock's ticking. He's dead in a ditch. And I get up all the way to 42nd Street where we record. And a, a lady goes, excuse me, excuse me. Can you help me? And I was like, damn it. But what is it about me? I got I got something going on today that people are like, hey, he's a safe honky. Well, you look like you know what you're doing. No backpack. No, uh-huh. uh, you know, like pinwheel hat. You look like you live in the city. Mm, you know, okay. you're, you're, you're fit. You're a handsome guy. You're walking around. You got some, you know, gumption. You look like you have some cash. You got some nice pants. Well, I think something about me getting in a hurry is they're like, oh, he knows. He's going somewhere. They think they would stop someone that's not in That's hurry. what I thought. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I try to keep the head down. It's like George. I try to pretend to be annoyed, you know, right. so nobody talks to me. I think. It's a likable thing. I think it's a likable face. That's, wow. that's, that's it. I yeah, think you it's got a very like, ah, uh, that guy seems like he's friendly. Yeah, no one's stopping that thing over no. there. Oh no, likable face. <laughs> it's great. I can get anywhere. <laughs> Look at he split. Yikes! <laughs> You're never getting bugged. Yeah. All right. Well, either way, I'm, I'm trying. This lady goes, "Excuse me, excuse me." And I go, "God." She goes, uh, "Español." And I go, "Nah, Espanol. no." Yeah. She's like, you speak Spanish? So I'm like, "No, nah, no." And she goes, "Okay, well." Six, six trades. So now she's she's speaking Spanish to me, even yes. though she asked me if I speak Spanish. Seis. Seis. And uh, I had a few. She goes, uh, how do I get to the, the, the green line, basically, she's asking for. And verde. I go, you got to take the Siete, seven. Siete? I think it's Verte. Uh-oh. What, the Siete? Siete, seven. Okay, yeah, okay, right. I got that right, thank God. So I go, Siete, uno, stop, mm. Oh. And to Greeno. And she was like, hmm. And I said, Mira, Mira, you know, make sure to look up. Helen Mira. Yes, because uh, Mira, Mira on the wall. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, you know, you got to see where you're going there. And she goes, Mira, and she's doing this shit. I'm like, no, 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 no. And I go, siete, uno, stop, get off. Mm. And she goes, no, nah, I don't know. And I ran away. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe so. she's throwing in a por favor. Uh, they like the por favor, I think. Uh, I think I said underlay. Uh. I was like, underlay? Because the train was here. I was like, Arriba. <laughs> Arriba. Um, Tito Santana. <laughs> Aruba Ray. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. Well, you're, you're, you're of service out there. That you're was, trying. That was on the way here. Yeah. I mean, that's just I mean, that's just today. I know. And then I, I don't have a, a key car. I gave my key card to old Chuck. D over here, and uh-huh. then so I have to do the schmooze every time I go. Hey, I live here. I'm in the building. I live on the 17th floor. I have an encampment. I'm homeless, and he's like, "All right, go up." And by the way, they're shooting Law and Order out there. That's fun. What? They got the trucks and the van. You didn't see all the trailers. No, and the things? I was getting stopped by Hispanic women. Oh, geez, yeah, they got the trailer out there, and it, it really chaps my asshole every time. Because wouldn't you? We should be on Law and Order. I would love to get raped. Didn't we? Wouldn't it be fun to come in? We're masked. We fuck some ladies, yes. and then they arrest us, and they're like, "It wasn't me," and then they throw us in the clink. Yeah, put us in a ski mat. How, how fun would that be? You've seen this next guy on Netflix and Law and Order. Bum bum. It's like Colin said, he never got never got on once. Yeah. What's up with that? And and also, wouldn't it be fun to have that little that little zing about you? You know, you're like a dead body with jizz all over you and you're like, it's a sticky situation or something. I just want to be in a trailer, an airstream, a movie trailer, yeah. uh whatever. It's funny that it's movie trailers and there's movie trailers. Oh that's interesting, right? I never thought of that. There's the makeup trailer and, and the tra- then the, the trailer. you're in a trailer. You sit in a trailer and then you get to be in a trailer. How about that? Man, All right, and we live in a trailer. It's not great, but it's something. <laughs> it's something. By the way, I had this the other day. They're shooting a movie or a show that I never heard of in, uh, a st- in my neighborhood. And I always like to walk by it when they're filming. Mm. And I was, I was saying to Sarah, I was like, don't you have this fantasy 
that you're always going to get recognized. They're going to be like, hey, Joe Lynch, uh-huh. you were good in that thing. Come on in here. Sure. And then right as I said it, some guy went, hey, Joe Lynch. And he had the, 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 the thing in his ear oh, and all the, the stuff. Thing. But he used to be a producer at Skanks, Legion of ah. Skanks. So he didn't cast me or anything, but it was still neat. Still neat. You're hoping for a Hollywood guy to go, whoa, whoa, Joe List, you're a comedian. We need you in this scene. Exactly. Fuck like, this kid. The way you walked by with that coffee was just hilarious. Get in here, you goof. That would be fun. Well, speaking of that, Uh-oh. I can like and seg right into this butthole. I come back home off the road. Me and the lady go to dinner. And we go, ah, maybe we'll go here. We walk to this restaurant. It's closed for some reason. Columbus Day, I don't know. Indigenous mm. people, Zanal. And oh. then we go, uh, we go, oh, let's try this other place. We go there. We sit down. Two free glasses of champagne. We're like, oh, mm. what are you, what, what's going on here? And this guy comes up, cute little guy with a blazer on. He's the manager. And he goes, congrats on the wedding. Whoa. And I go, whoa, who's this kid? Did you do you know this guy? Did you fuck him and to the lady? And she's like, I don't know this guy. And he goes, Two's gay all the way. Wow. It's all pipes. Wow. Brought us free lobster. What? Tacos, oysters. And I was like, dude, I can't afford this. He's like, What are you kidding? I got it. <laughs> And afford it. Well, I'm like, I don't want to. I, I went in to get some uh, some beers and an oyster, and he he comes in with fucking the whole uh, seafood shanty. Wow, I love a hookup. Hookup, boy, nothing better than a hookup. And he was a good Tuesday because there's bad Tuesdays out there. You know the ones who are who a are, couple. Yeah, they're in the audience going, "You suck. It's all pipes." Uh, Shelby, bring him back or whatever. And this guy was like, "I don't need a photo. I don't need to blow you. I just want to give you food and booze, and I'll be on my way." Wow. I love that. That's great. So what, did he charge you anything, a discount? Zero. I, I tipped Whoa. big because the waiter helped out. But uh, then you want the lady to be like, oh, my God, that was so hot. Ah, but nothing. Yeah, well, maybe she doesn't want to tip her hand. She doesn't want to give you too much. Um, tip. Tip you know, the hand. Uh, yeah, well, you want the hand tip. I'm just oh, saying the maybe. Hand job. Something. Maybe she doesn't want to. Maybe she's like, ah, oh, boy, uh, you know, I wish I could get my hand tipped or whatever. Something. I'm gonna cut her hands off because she kept texting during the, the the dinner, and I was like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey!" And I took her phone. I put it in my pocket. Felt oh wow! Good. Yeah, I asserted. Boy. Yeah, good assertion. Yes. Got to assert. And then it vibrated the whole time, and I kept uh, comment. Oh, it's vibrating now. And she's like, uh, "It was like Roger Rabbit, and, and uh, you know, who played Roger Rabbit? <laughs> well, who you know, shaving a haircut. And he's like." You know that scene? Of course, I love that scene. Great Christopher scene. Lloyd, one of the most underrated oh, actors. He's really amazing. Lloyd. We tried to get him to be in our movie. There's mm. the grandfather, but the grandfather has two lines, and he's like, what are you insane? Did you see the uh, Christopher Lloyd, Michael J. Fox reuniting? I saw a little bit it of it. It went viral. I have a hard time with uh, J. Fox. It makes me upset. Well, you know, he's a little shaky. Yeah, but uh, what a film. What a duo. Now, can I tell you a hookup please, story? Please, sorry. Now, this one, there's a lot... A lot of moving parts Ooh, here. I love parts. And uh, I've done it on stage a few times, so it might be a bit, which is tough because so many of the people that come to the shows right, are gays. Right. So then you're doing the bit, you're trying to sell it, but you're like, I've already told this yeah, yeah. on the podcast. I think they like it because they go, I know this one. Yeah. So I'm nervous to tell on the podcast because it's a it's a bit, and you know, bits are valuable. Yes. But also they're currency. This feels like something that needs to be discussed here. Ooh, well, hey, bring it on me, fat. I'm I'm salivating. All right, so Matt's Matt salivating. salivating. Mm. That was fun. By the way, I woke up in a sweat Tuesday morning. I was like, did we go too hard on Salicuse? Because remember, we really, really shit on him. No, quite it was a bit. funny. I, I'm going to put it up as a clip this week. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Did we go too hard on this guy? Don't worry. I made it into a clip and no, I every highlighted word, it. I every did. Every other word is like, he's lovable. I love this guy. Okay. Well, oh, I went to nice. text him. About something unrelated, and I was like, "Ah, oh, shit!" Because the day, the week before, we were like one of the best. Yes. And then he was like, shared it, and was like, "These guys are too kind," and I had oh. to warn him, like, "Well, we really do a number on you next week." Yeah. Well, I think if you, you get the good with the bad, there's a balance. Yeah, he's just, it's like a thunderstorm, you it's know. All, it's yeah. all silly. It's all silly. You prop him up, yeah. you take him down. It's, now it's, he's even. It's funny. It's okay. not. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> they sound like uh, fucking Brocco in uh, <laughs> the helicopter. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Anyways, <clears throat> so. Thank I you. go to uh, Chipotle, and where was this? Where did this happen? It was here. 
in Manhattan. I'm just trying to think of where it was. There was one on 60th and 3rd Avenue. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that's one of my go. That's my home Chipotle. No. It's the closest. 63rd. Wow, that's no man's land. Well, for me, I go there a lot. There's the movie theater, there's Bloomingdale's, the Chipotle, and then I like to get off there and walk through the park. You big Bloomingdale's guy? Every once in a while, if oh. I have a TV taping, back okay. in the old days when we used to do TV. You gotta get a blouse? Yeah. Ted Baker blouse. Sure. TVB. Uh-huh. So I go to the uh, Chipotle, and it's 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 dead. So it's just like, you know, you have one person making your burrito? Yes. You go all the way down the line with the one lady. I kind of like that. So this is, a, I do too. Yeah, you have a relationship. So I really yes. hit it off with this dame. She was a uh, nice nice lady, whatever. Afro-Americane? She was, which will come into play. I think I know her. So uh, I order the thing, rice, you know me, extra rice, Love lots of rice. rice. And I say, I'm not afraid of carbs. And I tap my belly, and she yeah. goes, oh, that's fun. He's funny. Ray Rice. Then I say, can I get some queso? I say, I'll get, I'll get a little queso. She mm-hmm. goes, well, how little? And I go, I, I don't know. Let me let me see the scoop. And then she scoops. It's about half a dreidel. Oh, go on. And you want she, full ladle. And she goes, uh, is it ladle or dreidel? I believe it's a ladle. What's Dre- a dreidel? Dreidel does not pick up dreidel cheese. Is, uh, I don't think Hanukkah. Jews can have cheese. Hanukkah, you spit at the top? Oh, I thought that was the same thing. They just rhyme. Oh, okay. Ladle. So ladle Soup is, ladle. Ladle's a scoop. Big and dreidel's a, a top. Top. I a see. Top. Okay. Oh, or a yarmulke. All right. Well, she takes the ladle. Mm-hmm. Ladle, baby. Okay. So ladle, she, ladle, ladle, baby. She takes half a ladle, and she goes, is this enough? And I go, yeah, that's good. And she goes, all right. Well, not, if it's just this much, I won't charge you. And half a scoop of a, half a dreidel is pretty good. Yeah. So she puts it on there. It's a nice looking scoop. And she goes, I'm not going to charge you. And I go, hey, I'm getting the hookup. This is the beauty of being alone with the lady. Yes. And it's also nice to connect with... With a with a black person, because sure. you know, these are tough times racially. Tense, and so she recognizes me as a good one, ah, which is nice. One of the good ones. Yes, she's like this guy. Is, this guy's first class, and I say, great, thanks. I'll take I'll take the cheese, and then she we, we finish, and she rolls it up, and she goes, oh look, I go, it looks like a softball because it was a little round. Uh-oh. And she goes, isn't it funny? Softballs aren't really soft, and of course I've heard this observation many sure. times, but I'm not going to say that to her. I love it. I love it. I go, that's hilarious. That's true. You get hit with one of those things. You're not very soft which is a great Brian Regan bit, but yes. she doesn't know that, so I'm just doing Regan in there, and I really <laughs> sold it, too. I was like, this is softball, and she's, like, <laughs> laughing. The and yellow cheese is the sun. We really have a nice time. So then she rolls it up and doesn't label it, passes off to the register lady. Now, the register lady is a white, oh, classic white. Oh, not like, uh, the white devil. So we've had so much charming chatting. Yeah, you're an ally. Yes, a good good chatting, but we had the softball thing, and then the cheese thing, and the hot sauce. So we had all this stuff happen since the hookup. I see. So now you know me. I'm all I'm honest Abe over here. Same old G. So the lady says, been low-key, and the lady says, what's in this? Uh-oh. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not a guy that gets a water cup and puts soda in it. You know what I mean? I'm not that kind of guy. That's my M.O. So I say, it's chicken and queso. No, oh, what are you doing? You get the hookup and you're blowing it. I forgot about the hookup. The dreidel. And I think honesty, you know, vigorous, rigorous honesty. I try ah, to be an honest guy. So I say, that's Vigor, chicken please. and queso. CQ, the old Colin Quinn. Sure. So every time I order it, they put CQ on it. I send a photo to Colin. He still goes, he goes I still don't understand what this means. Yeah, like, don't yeah. worry about it. That's and so she one. goes... Queso. And then she turns and she goes, Julie, you got to label it queso. Oh. Queso's extra. And then the girl looks at me and goes, what the fuck are you doing? You ruin it for Whitey. That, it, what, from her perspective, it looks like you I just s- walked over and went, hey, this bitch over here is stealing cheese. Just you a heads up. I'm a snitch. Karen. I'm you're a rat snitch Karen. Snitch. You get stitch. I want to kill myself. I deserve stitches. Oh. Not to mention, I fucked myself because the queso is like $7 extra because of inflation. Well, this is, this proves that honesty is not always the best policy. I know, but I forget. I forgot. Yes. And so I don't know how to, I, I don't know if I should go back there. Should I kill myself? Should I burn the place down? I, she's probably arrested. Yeah, they probably tased that black lady. <laughs> Holy shit. I fucked up so hard. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Because you should ride that wave. You get the hookup. You got to enjoy that. That's pheromones, baby. I know, but I forgot. Don't you see that I forgot? I get it. Okay. So much dialogue happened post- Hookup. Yeah. We had the softball. We had the cheese. We had the hot sauce and the thing. Oh, you like a lot of hot sauce. I like right. too much hot sauce. And then by the time I got around, I just, I it just instinctively. Yeah. It's like when someone just goes, uh, hey, what? If someone's like, hey, don't tell them the color of your pants. Right. And then ten minutes later, it's like someone's like, what color are your pants? You say, yeah, they're blue. You they're bitch. blue. Yeah. And then you blow it. Yeah. Not you a know, great analogy. I know what you mean though, but I get so excited about a hookup and and. 
bilking the system. I love to juke the system. Fuck the system. And then I would have been so excited. Chicken. Yeah, just chicken. I know, but then I, I break out in hives. I start shaking. I yeah. can't lie. I yeah. stink. Honest Abe. Wow. Uh. Boy, oh boy, we got to teach you how to lie. That should be a Patreon. I'll take you around town. We'll put you in a dress. We'll make it all fake, and you have to go with it. But I need someone better, because you're not always great at lying. Damn. You lie a lot, yet Damn you're it. not good at it. But I the... still remember the, the ice incident of the, uh, the, the car first hang. What ice? I've told oh, it a few times. Hey, you're, I... the, you're trying to get the phone with your girlfriend. You're like, oh, there's a big sheet of ice. And I'm like, ice. Well, that was for comedic. I, I was trying to make you laugh there. Oh, were you? Because she was by it. And then you're like, the six of us in the car. Yeah, we're changing see, off. I'm I'm playing it up. Uh, but that I was, think you were trying to dupe. No dupe? Well, I was a little dupe, but I was doing, I was double duping for yeah. her, for your pleasure. Right. But I, I've heard some lies from you that I'll, right, right away I'm like, no. Nah, but here's the happening. thing. There's some lies out there that people don't even know that are lies. That's Interesting. how good. So yeah. there's, there's some you know, but there's a lot you don't. Oh, I know. Ah, oh, fuck. Believe me. I'm not even getting married. <laughs> Thank Christ. <laughs> I, um, I know, right? But yeah, I blew the hook up. I don't know. What do you do in that situation? Yeah, Should I go back? Tough. Should I apologize? But the problem is, I couldn't express to her that I forgot. I couldn't just say, I forgot you were hooking me up, because that's even worse. Right. But I'm worried that in her eyes, I yes. just... Told her you Karen. Yes, I Karen. I'm a snitch Karen. Well, they, she'll never, uh, she'll never help out, help out the blue eyed devil again. I know, and she'll remember. I'm probably fixed in her head. Yeah, then you know she's gonna go back to her her, her Black Panther meeting or whatever they do, and and uh, the, the cookout or whatever, and then she's gonna go, hey, yeah, I tried once. It was so kind and so nice because it's not cheap. Yeah, queso. No, what do you do? What do you do? Wow, this is rough. Queso closed. Yeah. Because this is, you can't go back there. If you do go back, you have to somehow come up with a, 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 a olive branch with this lady. The lady was really mad, too. Oh. She was like, you got to do, like, she was like, you fucked up, you idiot. It was so bad, and we caught each other's eye, and I was like this. Oh. This could be a fun kind of Nathan for you, a list for you. Mm. Is like, is people you feel like you, you fucked up with, you like start following them and learning about their life, and then you help them somehow. Right. I don't know. That could be something. I'm spitballing here. But by the way, everyone, I, I, I talk about how much I love Nathan for you. By the way, I watched the final episode. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Finding Francis. The guy's a genius. Killer. And then uh, they show him at the Mets game, uh. and people's like heads exploded because they like baseball. Nathan, Fe ah! I got about 7,000 people tagged me, sent it to me. And like some people are just like this look. And yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's very sweet. Everyone's like, they really put the two things together. Right. And went, oh my god, list is gonna shit. Well, but it does. If you see him, you can be like, hey, you see what uh, Bruner did on the second base? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you can have a little chit chat. You got something to go into. <laughs> you, see, you see what uh, Mantle did on shortstop. I think he was the shortstop, by the way. No, center Damn. field. Ah. Uh, <laughs> was he at least short? No, I don't think so. Ah. Alcoholic. He was a drunk. Okay, that was okay. Fun. There we go. Yeah. So were you. Quite a guy. Yeah. All right. Now we got something. You ever see this fuck Raquel Welch? No. I gave, her the, I gave her the punchline. He they fucked? said, you know, he's like 75 years old. He's an alcoholic. He needs a liver transplant. He's dying. And they go, do you have any? What's like your biggest regrets? Would you do anything different? And he goes, ah. Uh, Fuck Raquel Welch. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love that. He yeah. didn't say Disneyland. Classic guy. Good for him. Toasty. All fine. right. Anyways, you got a lot. Wow. Shove it up my ass. Whoa. See if I come. Oh, man. That is what. You know what we should do? Let me let me go with you. Next time we go to, let's hang out. We'll go to eat at that mm. Chipotle, and maybe okay. she'll be there, and we'll, we'll tell her the whole story. Yeah, that's not bad. But you got to tell it quiet, because if anyone overhears, they'll be like this. I knew fucking Jackie's been hooking people up. Well, maybe she'll hear this. And then maybe she'll hear this and be like, aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I I've had people so. hear this and, and get mad at me, but she might hear this and, and you know, we got to get this. Maybe we got to get you a, like Charlemagne the God's pot or something and talk yeah. about her. Well, I did a show once. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Now, let me let me throw this in your, your, your asshole and see if it uh, makes you orgasm. Please. Wow. By the way, your stretch. Broke the internet. Yeah, that was that was, that was big. I got to do some more of that. Yeah, I mean, it, it felt pretty nice. I might do another one. It was impressive. You know what? Maybe I'll try it. Try right it now. now yeah, cause cause that was no joke. It was a nice way to stretch it out. Yeah, you should try it. Spread the asshole. All right. Jeans might be tough. I, I, I know I had jeans on for mine. I'm not as uh, limber. Oh. Oh wow, those jeans might burst. Ooh, yeah, my clit's popping. <laughs> Holy hell! All right. 
Well, here we go. We'll try it. We'll it's nice, it. though, right? You can feel your asshole spread. Yeah, mine's always dilated. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll call it pod band spreading. But um, so let me let me throw this one at you. And I think you're going to... This is, this is something that might tickle your taint. All right. All right. So <laughs> four shows over the weekend. And four, seven years ago. Yeah, four... <laughs> Four different cities in four days, which going to the airport four days in a row, you want to kill yourself. I've done it. It's not fun. It's not fun. You feel like uh, like ISIS. You're like, all right, enough with the airports. Get me out of here. You want to bomb this thing. So I'm finally going home. I did Ottawa to Toronto to Detroit to Pittsburgh to home. Okay, at least they're kind of a little... The short flights, but everyone is literally everyone but was delayed. I think one oh, wasn't, God. but every you know an hour, an hour and a half. But you're still like, I could have slept, or you know, you're throwing off my schedule, whatever. I think the short flights they delay more because they're like it's only a half hour flight, so push that one back. I think you're right. I think you're right, but still annoying because you get there, you're like, all right, I'll be at the airport for forty minutes. Oh, I'll be at the airport for two hours. All right, whatever. Brutal. So finally, did all the shows, and I get on the flight, and I look at the uh, seat map, or what do you call it, <laughs> the the legend. What do they call that Legends. with the seat? Seat map sounds right. Okay. Le- legend is pretty good. You've heard Legend. Oh, yeah. Like, I am for, Legend. It's usually like for like arenas bands? and like live shows. It's like on Ticketmaster. When you buy tickets, it'll say, here's the Legend, and it'll show all the seats oh, in the arena. They call it, I don't know why they call it a Legend, Neither but I. it's no weird. Kidding. All right. It sounds weird to say out loud. Like, hey, did you check the Legend? No one says that. But either way, huh. so I get, on the, I get on the app, and I go, I'm in 10B, which is the exit row, the you know, poor man's first class or whatever they call it, and I go, oh, I can pop up to 5A. And be higher up. Jerry's apartment. That's right. So, uh, boy, this is painful. <laughs> I'm in pain here. I'm burning. It's good. You got to take a nice shit. You'll feel good when you walk. You'll feel it. It's nice. All right, all right. Well, the butt plug is starting to fall. <laughs> but so I go up to 5A. I'm like, hey, 5A, pretty good. I save, you know, that's a good probably eight minutes you save just for people getting their bullshit out. Sure. So I go 5A. All right, great. Boop. Take it. Get on the plane. And... I'm like, oh, walking up to 5A, and it's right after first class. First class is one through four. It's a small plane. And I look, 5B is the window, and it's a lady with a huge German shepherd. Hmm. Service dog, if you will. Oh, boy. Anxiety pet. I I hate dogs. Well, this is a big boy. I mean, this is Rin Tin Tin over here. This is that that fucking dog from uh, that Tom Hanks movie. Turner and Hooch. Thank you. There's also K9. Which was a big rip. Yeah. It was a shittier dog and a shittier actor. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Belushi. Yes. The bad Belushi. I remember the dog eating a pool ball at one yes. point. Yeah. Yes. That's my memory of that movie. He went to a, like a biker bar, and the guy went, oh, yeah, and he threw a pool ball, and the dog caught it. Yes. I've seen the movie 800 times, yeah. sadly. Both of them. So I have Me a too. real love for cop <laughs> We dog were right movies. in that age. I that. know. I think we were probably, I mean, you can look it up, we were probably like 12 and 14 for those two films. That's right. Yeah. Oh, oh I'd have thought that I got to run by it too about movies. Please. Uh, okay, you're the movie guy. Oh, uh, what, what are you, yoga-ing? I'm getting the whole stretch. Okay, okay. Well, I saw okay. you do it, and it felt like, I bet that felt nice when you stretched like that. Did I do it? You reached over to point oh, or something. Okay. Oh, yeah. And as soon as you good. did it, I was like, I bet that feels good. Yeah, you're very observant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is the downward hooch. I think that's a half moon or something ah, like that. Ah, okay, okay. Crescent moon. Crescent moon. Sorry, we're all, we're all, all right, over the all map right, here. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we're, we get, we're the moon over New York City. What is it? If you get caught between the moon and New York City, there you go. The best that you can do is fall in love. All right, man on the moon. So I'm on the flight and I go, German Shepherd. Now, you know how these doubles, these are two seats. So it's her, the German Shepherd in the middle, and then me. He's got his own seat? No, 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 no. There is no middle seat. It's just two. Oh, but he's I in see. between us, I mean. Right. But between two people is this. Yes. This much. Room. It's an armrest. Yes. So you can't put the dog in the middle because the dog is forty percent into my bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. So I'm, I'm, I'm horrified. Yeah. So uh, I just want to make sure we're all clear here. But I go, oh my god, I'm hungover. I'm finally done with this uh, this tour, whatever. Let me just get to this chair. I got five A. I'm gonna fall asleep. And I look back to to ten A, my original seat. Smoke show in 10B. Oh, my Smoking a hot blonde Come girl. On. I'm like, oh, she's a hot shit. I got this dog up here. So this is, let me let me recreate. This is your plane seat. Okay. Oh, oh watch out for the clock. The clock. 
Very nice gift. We've never used. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. So you're the dog. I'm you. You're me. Okay. Now, you still got your... You still got your seat here. You're a Kramer. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, give me a cigar. So uh, you still got your seat, but you're, you're doing this shit with I, a dog. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, this is making me, this is triggering me. Especially I know. a German Shepherd. I, you know. Oh, huge, huge. And, and it's nice. It's Every now and then I'll put his head on my, my leg and kind of do that bullshit, you know. And he's cute and he's sweet. And she goes, do you like dogs? And I go, yeah, you know, I like dogs. And that's her way of being like, okay, so you're cool with this? And she just went back to texting. And I'm like, this is insane. And I'm just fuming now. And, you know, it's building up where you're like, I let people take advantage of me. I'm too nice. I'm a pussy. You know, and it just starts going. And I go, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit like this, and the dog will be here, and I'm going to go to sleep. But you can't just go to sleep as a fucking beast next to you, a canine. I I try it every night. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
Tough word. Mm. Advanced skin-safe technology to protect your delicate parts and holes. Both are waterproof, so you can shave in the shower. Classy. Don't forget to apply their aluminum-free, ultra-premium deodorant for the cologne-quality scent on the go. Manscaped is even throwing in two free gifts. The Manscaped boxers and the Shed travel bag. The Platinum Package 4.0 covers all your bases from head to toe. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code Tuesdays at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code Tuesdays at manscaped.com. Say trick or treat to your beautiful new Halloweeny with Manscaped. Nice. Okay, Tuesday Story is brought to you by Liquid IV. When going through your daily checklist, make sure to use hydration. Put that right on the top of the list. Liquid IV is the easy way to stay hydrated. Get five essential vitamins and hydrate two times faster than with water alone with just one stick of Liquid IV. Whether you're prepping for the day or taking a long-haul flight on vacation, Liquid IV is essential addition to your routine. My favorite flavor is... The pina colada. I drink a, I drink one of these a day, hungover or not, just to get that good in you. Because you need the hydration, folks. Your whole body, it's like the oil for your, your car body. So get it first thing in the morning before a workout, after a long night out, or to manage daily hydration. I love it. It's good stuff. It tastes good. And you just feel better knowing you're, you're better hydrated. Contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. And it's got electrolytes up the yin-yang. More than sports drinks. Made with premium ingredients, and it's free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 15% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code TUESDAYS at checkout. That's 15% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code TUESDAYS at liquidiv.com. Dot com. Get on it. I heard a door slam and yelling. Oh, he yelling. was slamming. All right, he slammed. I think. I think. Well, he's got the door open. He's also he's yelling on the phone a little bit. Yeah. You know. Oh no. Uh, we gotta get, we gotta get that new get place. We gotta get out. All right. All right. So we'll wrap this up, and then we'll all. So what happened? Kill ourselves. <laughs> so she's got the dog on her lap. This. <laughs> You know, it's this huge dog. It's coming up like above her head. And I just go, oh, shit, this is so awkward. This is so tense between us. And I just say, fuck it. And I lay there, and I just, I pretend to sleep for like an hour and a half. I'm just so uncomfortable. I can hear the dog. I'm sure she's texting about me, like, fucking guy, asshole, dog hater, piece of shit, racist. And I'm like, ah. And then then we land, and I got off the plane, and that was it. (sighs) Well, I say, God bless you. These dogs, they should put them in the overhead compartment or whatever. Also, the Germans, you know, uh-huh. they're Nazis, the for Germans. God's sakes. Yes. yes, all Germans are Nazis. You know right, that. Right, right. Who needs a shepherd? I mean, there's no sheep. Yeah, no sheep. Uh-huh. Bad shep. Even- we have a lot of German gays. I'm just kidding. Love the germ. But, yeah, she got off in a huff, too. Like, uh, she kind of pushed everybody out of the way, and she left the plane first. She's like, I have a service dog. I have to leave first. So you're like, oh, this lady's very entitled and whatever. I hope she never hears this. No, she's not going to listen to this. All right, all right. But uh, it it got ugly. I mean, it was tense, and I, I pressed on. I was like, I'm not wrong here. This dog is in my area. I never agreed to this. Like, you have the dog. You're the burden. You have to deal with it. Not us. It shouldn't be on us to deal with it. She should have to buy a seat. Yes. You have. I mean, it's one thing a, a Yorkie or a Terrier. Or, I mean, that's the same thing. I don't know. One of these dogs that you yeah. pick up, hey, which yeah. I like. I like those little like. Yeah, they're cute. They're, yeah. They're, they're, they got a little haircut, you know. But once the dog, it's the size of a, a an eleven year old. It totally is. Totally. That's why I was into it. But it would just it. It was huge, and it was panting, and it was putting its head on me and licking me and all this. So like. I took a stand, and uh, it it worked out, but I'm sure she's at a dinner party shitting on me. That's all right. Well, I bet she's at a dinner party talking about it, and I bet at least half the people at the dinner party are like this. God bless that guy. Uh, it's one of those ones, you know, when someone tells a story, right. and the whole time you're like, I'm on the other person's side for sure. I, I hope you're right, but here's my thing with the anxiety dog. The service dog, the umbrella is getting... Look, if you're blind... God bless you. Get the dog. You know, they get you out of a well, Timmy, and all that shit, Lassie. But this is just a big dog with a vest. 
Right. You know, like take a value, take a take a Xanax, like a like a fucking adult if you have anxiety. Well, it, but why do you put other people out? Isn't there part of it? It's almost like the marijuana card. Mm. It's like everybody knows you don't need medicinal marijuana. Exactly. You just want to get the weed, so you have to say, hey, I have this thing. I think a lot of people just want to travel with their dog. Of course, which I so get. So they just say, hey, blah, blah, blah. But we could be, by the way, dog, you're in dangerous territory here. Huh. People, these dog people are crazy. I know, They're going to get a lot of hate. People are going to be like, fuck you, you piece of shit. Well, I, got nothing, I got nothing against dogs, but, and look, I told you, I like uh, juking the system, but now you're fucking with other people. Right. You know, with your queso, nobody gets hurt. It's a victimless cheese crime. Yeah. This is, uh, my space is is violated. Victimless cheese crime. That's fun to say. Oh, I just wanted okay. to, uh, you know, maybe that's a title or, uh, It's a long title, uh, but you yeah. know, victimless cheese crime is cheese crime. Alliteration. You right, I didn't know. It's a uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Mm. No, that stinks. <laughs> That's just long. Jeez. That's longer than victimless cheese crime. Dave Mira. All right. What, what I hurt your feelings? I, I don't care. For, I don't know <laughs> what have said it. I don't care <laughs> for mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh, well, it's lawyer. a good line in the pod. It's not a good title. I also had Lawyer Shop, which was pretty good. Uh, lawyer, lawyer Shop. Lawyer Shop. Uh, that was brilliant. <laughs> that was one of the best things anyone's ever said ever in the history of the uh, By the way, convenient. somebody will email me and be like, Liz fucking thinks know, he's the greatest for saying they, they, they literally just take anything I say seriously. And again, I'm not against dogs. I like a dog. I'll throw a tennis ball at a guy all day, but... Uh, no, dog is good. Dog is good. What's well, the same? I like fucking uh, whales, but I don't want one in my, my plane. <laughs> well, you know, you go to Whale Watch, you're like, it's majestic, it's sure, beautiful, but sure. one sprays all over the exit yeah, room, that, you're going to be a little upset. That blowhole is a problem. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I get you. All right, so just... It, and it's a German chef. If it was the Terry, whatever, Terrier, a little uh, Toto from Wizard of Oz, you know, let's take the yellow brick home road home when i say i met someone named terry you picture a man or a woman man man interesting Mm -hmm. terry goes both ways Mm -hmm. it goes both and now a lot of ladies are getting named dylan Mm. and uh billy oh yeah there's a a spencer a woman yeah that's no good spencer that's a stretch i just i just heard about a woman named spencer how about charlie Charlie's big. Well, top Gun. Mm-hmm. Big on a lady now. But mm-hmm. with the trans world, that kind of, uh, it could it could apply. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't have to change your name if you transition. That's not bad. Maybe that's the thought. They're like, ah, I want to save them some time. Yeah. I think most people, when they transition, change their name just because I think they want to change their whole right, thing. Right, 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 right. It's, all, it's very weird how all we talk about is like how men and women are the same, we're all the same, but yet we're so obsessed with gender still. Like we talk about how gender is a construct, it's not real. But we're obsessed with gender. Mm. Isn't that weird? It's, it's it's both. Like, men are, you know, men are scum, toxic masculinity, but I thought we were all the same. I thought it, it was a construct. Is that, is that, am I crazy? I don't even know. I never okay. know what construct means. I don't know. I think it means it's like, it's all made up. It's like right. these old fashioned, antiquated uh, roles. People say that about money. It's like a social construct. And I'm like, what? Well, because it's not real. It's, it's Some guy went, hey, this is a dollar. It's right. a piece of paper. I see. So that's This a one's construct. worth 20 of these. This right. one's worth 100 of these. Yes. yes yeah, money is weird that we all just buy in on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also weird now that, like, you just have, uh, this is like a deeper, wacky <laughs> thing, but you're like, Please. just so weird that, like, all I actually have have i don't have any money i have an app on my phone yeah that says i have this amount of money that's crazy and we've Isn't all just so to it. weird well what about diamonds that's just a rock that's shiny and we go this is worth eight trillion dollars and you're like okay what about this pebble that's garbage well, i always feel that way with baseball cards people are like this card's worth four thousand dollars you're like well it's worth whatever someone will pay for it right right right, right. it's like if no one's gonna give you four thousand dollars it's not worth shit well that's why stocks are so confusing because they're like oh it's going up but i'm like i'm i didn't notice anything we're all the same right and nothing happened well the time is kind of like a construct too right? time is a big construct space uh, and time it's not it's, not, it's 2 p.m but it's it's not it's just a. Uh, it's just yeah. whatever. 2 p.m. Then if I go over here, it's 3 p.m. Yeah. So construct. What, what the fuck are we doing? So they, they it's just weird. Worker. They always say gender's a construct, but then they're like, men are bad or women are great. And you're like, well, I thought it was not a thing. But uh, you keep talking about it. I don't understand how gender can be that, though. Because I mean, you know, this, wow. is like, this is where I accidentally say something horrible. Exactly. But I'm like, but one has like thicker bone density and, and bigger muscles and a, a dick. And of one course. And ovaries. And, and one chromosomes. Has, you know, that's and not a construct. I agree. Do they mean like the construct is like women, girls like pink and boys like yeah, that, blue? Is that, that the construct? That too, but I think everything. 
Mm. I think the societal view on what means, like what gender is, like yes, like you could be born with like more boys mus- football, girl cheerleader, sure, That's all that construct. stuff. Yeah, I see. But it, it, I used to have a joke about it, like about how I saw a woman yelling "gender is a construct," but she had a shirt that said "the future is female." So mm. you're like, so you don't even believe it, right? You know? But yeah. we don't have to get it now. Now we're doing a, a Ben Shapiro podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, I just never. Sometimes you hear a term a lot, and then you're like, I, I guess I'll figure out what that means another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think <laughs> the more you let it slide, and then it'll eventually go away. Right. You know, like sometimes you're like, okay, lat latinx. I'll learn latinx. So I'm I'm one of the good ones. Then three years go <laughs> by, and you're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> that shows what I know. It's like, what is he talking about? That latinx is, latinx. A, is a casino in Vegas, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I lost everything at latinx. Uh, latinx. I think the lady who stopped me in the subway, her name was latinx, but she. <laughs> but, but my point is, it you know, it's like it went from colored. To to black, to African American, to person of color, and then in the, you're like, so we're back in color. I, I don't know. It's all kooky. Color TV. I, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but I did white. read a thing that said Latinx. Like ninety seven percent of Latinos I heard hate that, Latinx. I so. heard that too, but they don't care about them, which is ironic. So I don't know, but yeah, we're in some naughty territory <laughs> now. The water's getting muddy here. Well, then it's also weird that these things are all happening, and we're not allowed to t- discuss it and figure it out. That's also strange. Yeah, it's all pipes. It's I a mean, wacky it, time. It's, there's so many pipes. Um, <laughs> Oh, I had a. <laughs> um, we got more pipes than Super Mario over here. What is this one? Uh, oh, what do you got? I, mean, I hogged it with the German Shep. Uh, no, I, I appreciate like the German Shep. My, my I had a room. similar thing though. All the same emotion. I'm identifying with the emotions Hit because me, I was in the worst place on the planet, Syracuse, Syracuse, New York. Hell on earth. Which, by the way, is <laughs> trash just, heap. I mean, shit box. <laughs> The mall is oh. like crime ridden. I, I did a little oh. Google. You have to be 18. It's like a titty bar. You got to be 18 plus to get in. I'm not joking. You walk oh, yeah. in the mall, it's like a big sign. It's like you got to be 18 or have six parents with you. Yeah, yeah. There's a gun, there's a shooting, like there's gunplay on the lobby every 10 Sh- weeks. Shootings, stabbings, bombs. That was me. <laughs> and uh, I walk in and I was like, hey, where's the Starbucks? I got to go to Starbucks. And the door guy was like, I'll walk you there. And I was like, oh no, I'm just going to get a tea. And he's like, believe me, I'm going to walk you that's hilarious that the mall is crime ridden you know because it's so cold there that the burglars have to be like just gotta get to that mall then i can then i can stick them up it's 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 bad it's crazy and uh just a depressing place because it's oh, it's only the mall and the hotel is like a, it's a nice hotel but it's a mile from the mall yeah so i literally was like jogging to the mall to yeah. go buy my coffee i did the same thing and um but yeah, I went to the Starbucks in the mall, and I think it's this quiet quitting thing, maybe, or something. Ah. Honestly, I don't want to get into the mobile orders, because I keep tweeting about it, and people, I, I'm getting all this shit. Hate the mobile. It, it, I'll just T-Mobile. talk about it for a second, because a lot of people are like, fuck you, just join the mobile order. But I'm like, I want to live in a society. Yes. I believe in looking people face to the face. I like dopamines and serotonin, and hey, how do you do? Here, here. I'll have my coffee, please. The mobile thing is... Is is the end of society? Here, here. Not to mention the people they order it. They prioritize the mobile. So when you go to Starbucks, there's four people like me and three other people standing there waiting for their drinks, and there's literally sixty five drinks, all dewy and wet, just uh, sitting there with this receipt stuck to yes, it. Yes, because people do the mobile, and then they show up whenever. So you're like, all of these beverages should have been made after we get out. Uh, I'm here now. Yeah, I am soggy. here. Yes, and I like to go into a shop and say, how do you do? And I go to my Starbucks. They all know me. They're like, hey, Joseph. Yes, yes, they, they, they make like the it. drink for me. It's part of a society. We're living in a society. Yes, we have interactions. We're human beings. We have uh, social norms and niceties. Yes, and face-to-face with the blowhole. Yes. So I hate that, Mammal. first of all. So I go there, and they just forget about my order. It took me 18 minutes <laughs> To get a tea and a plain bagel. And this is 9.45. There's literally nobody in the fucking place. Holy They're just hell. making mobiles. They forget. Whatever the hell. Yeah. And so finally, I, I had to go up and go, I'm sorry. I, I'm waiting for a, a, a tea, a grande, a green tea. Yep. 
And, uh, and I, I went a little passive aggressive, but I had the same thing. I want to be liked, but I was like, it's water in a cup. I'd like water in a cup. <laughs> yes, it's, yes. Because everyone's getting the vanilla bullshits with the, the sure, cream and the sure. thing and the sugar and the strawberries. The and the, there's literally berries in it. Yes. I'm like, get the berries out of here. They should be on a bush. They a berry. I just want Big water. Berry. Just give me water. Here, here. You don't have to put the bag in. Just hand me the bag and give me the water. Yes, yes. Water, cup. Steep. So then I get the tea, and then I stand around a while longer, and then I have to go back in again. I go, excuse me, I'm just waiting on a plain bagel. Wow. And the guy goes, oh, I got it. And Because he forgot about me. He gets it to me. He hands it to me, and it has the number, the time on the oh, receipt. Oh, good, good time. It's so, a construct. The same thing. I'm like, I have that thing going in my head. I'm like, I should be fucking furious. How come people are like, return shit? They yell at people. I just sit here like a fucking pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We almost had to bleep. And so I say... I go, I point to the thing, I go, 18 minutes for a bagel? Oh, you said that. I said this, and the guy goes, well, I don't, I don't. no, first, sorry, I didn't say that first. First, I said, come on, man. I was like, you got to give me, <laughs> I go, you got to give me something. And the guy's like, give you something. I go, a sorry, anything? And that's when I point, I was like, 18 minutes Ooh, wow. for a bagel in a cup? Oh, boy. And the guy went, I'm sorry. Oh. I swear to God. I wanted to You've fucking been... grab his two ears and smash his face through the display counter. Wow. And you, you sit there, and I'm fuming. Like, my heart is, like, pounding. And I go and sit in the food court, and I'm just, like, eating my bagel. And at one point, the top la piece of the bagel fell on the floor because I was, like, just fucking spreading it oh all. And it fell, and I was like, this, I don't give a shit. And when you're sitting there, you're like, do I leave a review? Should I firebomb this yes, place? Should yes. I take a shit and throw it at his face? And then after a while, you just have to go... I gotta let go. What am I gonna do? Yeah, what am I gonna do? Unless you're gonna shoot up a school, you got really no option. You could leave a review, but that's not gonna satisfy you. And this is what bothers me is and going back to societary norms or whatever. All it takes is this. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's it. I'm so I we forgot. It's like amazing how the power of language yes. is. You can just recognize an eye contact. Like I, I totally blew it. Sorry, man. So sorry. And then I feel like a wave of like no sweat. Yeah. And to just not recognize that, that you true. took 18 minutes. That's wild. To get a cup of tea. Yeah. And a bagel. Wow. You forgot about me. But which is fine. I know. And I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry that happened to you. But you got to, uh, you got to realize this is why people do the mobile. Cause look, they're, they see you and they go, this guy's fucking getting. Side capped or what do you right. call that? Uh, sarcastic by the, uh, the 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 worker, and then eighteen minutes later, you drop your bagel on the floor. This guy's already been back home in his sweatpants. But my argument to that is, you're like, so I got to go do the mobile. But it's like, no, he should fucking be better at his thing. I agree. I we, agree. That's but... ideal because then it becomes it's the same with like Twitter. You just have a person with a fake photo and a fake name being like, you fucking blow. Fuck right, you. Right, right. Because there's no face to face. Yes. There's no, there's no, we're not living in a society anymore. I longer. agree. I agree. It's all this mobile shit delivery and, yep. and fucking Uber mobile. Eats. We're all going to be just with VR glasses on at some point, not I seeing know. each other. It's sad. Like, I, that's why I had to take the phone away from the lady. I'm like, she's like, I never see you. And I'm like, let's go to dinner. Let's let, let's eat dinner. And she's like, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm here. I know. So you, you did the right thing, but this guy's a real cum guzzler. Be here now, but uh, I hate the mobile. I hate the mobile. I'm order. with you. I want to I wanna be in the play. Hey, how you doing? All here, right. here. Great, great. Yeah, I'm I'm with you all the way. Like even people people order McDonald's delivery, and I'm like, this is the double. You're eating McDonald's and you can't get it. Right. It's just pretty sad. But that's people go towards convenience. Whatever's more convenient, they'll go. Like if you got to sign into something, you're already out. We're doomed. We're doomed, man. And you're in Syracuse, mind you. Yeah. Like your bagel is on the floor in Syracuse. Yeah, it was tough. Tough. Tough uh, weekend. And I, I was straight from Royal Oak, where oh. it was like Tuesdays galore. I mean, Love it was like, it was hot. Yeah. Uh, but it was so, the shows were fun. A lot of gays came out, sold some shirts. It was very nice. The staff was very nice. So I don't want to just make it sound like whatever. But No, I won't go back. Uh, me either. I had this at Chipotle yesterday. I'm, You know when you go into Chipotle and you're like, here we go. You start getting the mouth water. You see all the goods in front of you. And then the lady goes... Boop, 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 couple receipts, and she starts making 79 tacos, and it's the mobile. 
And then some queef comes in in sweatpants and a, and a clan hood, and he's got a cum stain on him, and he's like, all right, thank you. And I'm like, ah. I literally just had the same thing in Royal Oak. Sarah and I twice went to Chipotle. We go in there. I'm the only one in there. Nobody's in there. Yep. And I go up, and I'm just waiting. Nobody's helping. It takes yep. a lot of guys like one minute. There's no right. They're literally like, we're out of cheese. We're out of rice. Uh, and I'm like, that? why is it taking so long? I'm the only person here. We go through it, and I see behind the register, there's like two people slaving over ah, shit because yes. it's mobile it's, it's mobile. all mobile they're just like oh my god they're like they're in the weeds oh yeah but no, not literally not a soul is in the place yeah it's I might have instant a, people want instant what about this upcharge for mobile I like that because you're going anyway you might as well just talk to the fat lady behind the counter but if you want you want to it's going to be five more dollars I bet they probably just pay it well, here's the thing that's so frustrating too, and I think we're 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 off as a society is people think they're too busy, and part of it's because of the phone. So everyone's working all the time, mm. including us. Ron had a great point about comedians. He's like, we're always working and never working. That's what makes it so difficult. Oh, because it's like you're working and that you're like writing a job, but you're not like working, working. Right. You're kind of like bouncing around. You're thinking of things. Right. But there's no turning it off. You don't clock out. Right. Like even at one in the morning, you're watching a movie. You're like, maybe this is a funny angle. Yes, is yes. What That's times do I true. Get up? So it's like you're always on and always off at the same time. But That's good. It's similar to a lifeguard. Yes. You know, you're just sitting there all day. Then someone's dying and you're like, well, I have to save them. Right. But the people, they think they're in heart. Like, one guy messaged me. He's like, yes, some of us have jobs. We're not all just sitting around. We don't have time. But I'm like, but you have time to tweet it. Aha! You're literally sitting on Twitter. People act like or think they're, like, crazy busy, but so much of their time is consumed by just looking at their phone and shit. I know, I know, and they consider that busy. If you put your phone down and walked into a coffee shop, you might get a little more enjoyment out of life. And I, I've had jobs at a day job, a cubicle. I've done all that shit. Podcasting, you have to be in the zone for an hour straight. There's no, you can't go. What? What did you say again? Right. You, you can't. You can't dilly dally on a pod. I've had jobs. You're dilly dallying, and then you work for like a minute, mm -hmm. and then you dilly dally for like thirty, and then you work for like four minutes, and then you dilly dally for like an hour. So you got time. It's tricky. But uh, by the way, this is gonna be one of our biggest apps algorithm because the comment section is just gonna be like, "Fuck you, you guys suck." That's wrong. Well, Mobile. Let order. me say this. Wow, <laughs> that, that was, was like six instruments in one. That was fun. Can I play a fun one for you? Because you Please. know me, I like to record my farts on the road. I think I'm going <laughs> to like this one. send me these. Yeah, I should be sending. Well, I'm saving them for here. Oh, uh, okay, okay, save them, save okay, them. Okay, this one I don't is... Wanna, I don't want to you know, know the ending. Here we go. I think you're going to like this, because this one's got a lot of, a lot of layers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was like a beat, like... I gotta cut these together, yeah, and uh, and really make something out of them because there's some fun. <laughs> it's also fun to think of your asshole went open, close, open, close, yeah. open. It really was something. It's like fuck. Oh, this is actually a classic. <laughs> nice classic. You know, mm. yeah. moat fart. Hey, okay. I like that. There's, there's your goddamn title, 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 title oh, you yeah. son of a bitch. Here's silly double fart. Let's see how this one goes. More of a beat. <laughs> That's good. That was like an interruption. <laughs> some some uh, cute hip kid out there has got to really uh, start bebopping and scatting and, and sampling these. Send me the files. I'll put them on. I'll put them on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty fun. That's good. <laughs> Some that's of them, good. I don't know if it's a set or if a fart. Like, this one says, fun, light, hot. I'm like, is that a fart or that's, a set? That's a, set. <laughs> um, well, that's a fun game show that's for the Patreon. Hot, <laughs> tried, new, failed. I mean, that could be a fart. Yeah, you could have shit yourself at the um, end. <laughs> Hollywood, great, good, weird, new. That could be a fart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. All right. Fine, good, whatever. I like the idea of a fart as a set. You don't need uh, you don't need new paper. You don't need a new notebook. You need new underwear. Like this one, hot, 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 new must listen. I mean, that's a pretty good fart. Yeah. Label. Oh, you Buster Poindexter, hot, <laughs> hot, hot, <laughs> new must listen. Well, do you have this? Do you label your sets? Because sometimes you go through your sets and you have to. Because I try to do a bit about this. I'll write notes to myself. Like I hate. I obviously hate myself. Sure. Like it's like bold, all caps. Like listen to this, fuckface. I do the same thing. Because if it just says like good set stand, I'll be like, ah, I don't need to listen to that. Yeah, but if it's, I will always write new shit or listen to this. Right. Listen to this. 
Thank oh, that you. That was fun. That was like a skid, like a little. Yeah. Like the road was wet. All right. Well, we covered a lot here. Uh, yeah, we gotta wrap this thing up. We gotta wrap it up, but got the free dinner. Got the old guy. Got the. Uh, I just want to just want to say thanks. Oh, I just want to say one more thing, and then I'll wrap it up. I sure. want to say thanks to Ottawa. Toronto was amazing. Uh, Detroit was killer, and uh, Pittsburgh was. Eh. But uh, that was on me. It was a Steelers game, and they were hammered, and I I, I wasn't my best. But I want to give a shout out to Mark and Katie. Shit, I might have this wrong, but huge Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Katie hit me up and said it's my husband's birthday. Will you? Do a show at his at his party, and it'll be a oh, surprise. Wow. Oh, jeez! So it was at Monty's Trattoria on McDougal. So it's a block away from my house. Wow! Good money. Have you been there, Monty's Trattoria? It's an Italian no. joint. We gotta go. I mean, it's like you walk in there. It's like Goodfellas. Oh, up on the guy's throwing dough. There's all these old ladies, and it's right on McDougal. We walk by it 800 times. That might be the one that Val and Matteo are always talking about. Oh, they go maybe. to an Italian place. They're always talking about it. It's classic. Okay. Classic. And then some old guy with an apron and a, and a you know rag on his arm is like upstairs, upstairs. You, you the party, you party. Yeah, yeah. So they hide me in a stairwell, and I can hear "Happy Birthday to You," whatever. And it's a bunch of like upstanding, nice people, citizens. Huge Tuesday. And they go, now for the entertainment, Mark. And I you know, creak out of the closet, and I do a set for 20 minutes. And it's awkward, but it was fun. And they're, they're sweet people. And we took photos after. And they're like, how's the hog? How's Joe's herpes? How's the silent re? You know, how's uh, the house coming along? Uh, it's all pipes. So sweet people. Thanks for that, everybody. And, uh, yeah, hire us. Yeah. We'll come to your party. Sure. I know how to make a balloon. A lot of money. Yeah, um, there, where are you going to be, Fed? All right, well, I got, uh, oh boy, I got the big Uncle Dale benefit. A lot of people are going to be coming Ooh, out to that. That'll fun. be fun. Always a fun show. I got the Hartford Funny Bone, November yep, 4th yep. and 5th. That'll be uh, depressing also. But come out to that, please, for God's sakes. And then uh, where else do I got? Uh, Madison. That's the big one, folks. Oh, the peach. December 8th through the 10th, Comedy on State. Madison, come from Milwaukee or wherever you come from. Crown And then I'm doing the Vermont Comedy Festival. That's up in Woodstock. I think that's Sunday, December 4th. Holy hell. That'll be fun. And then Omaha Funny Bone, December 16th and 17th. And tickets are already on sale February. Uh, fucking Denver Comedy Works. I think it's February 8th through the 10th. And then just announced, wow. just booked is uh, Salt Lake City Wise Guys, March 31st, oh, April 1st. another great one. Got some big stuff coming in April, and uh, that's going to be exciting. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube, for God's sakes. And check out the Patreon. The Patreon yes. is fucking sick. We're adding a ton of shit on there. Tons of new shows. Yes. People love the Give It a Goo. We had a new show yeah. on there. Everybody's talking about. Tough for us, but good for you. For the cup of coffee for a month. Yes. Uh, the cup of one, the price of one cup of coffee. Fuck the African kid. Help us out. 18 minutes. Uh, you can get it. Four bucks. Yeah, here, here. A month. We're about to do one right now. There's all kinds of Give It a Goo, uh, Queef It Up, uh, Musqueef TV, extra shit, live eps. It's 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 a banger. And Chuck organized the dick out of it. It's all laid out for you. We're spoon feeding you Jews. I'm gonna be in Orlando this weekend. Tickets are not great, and I'm missing Skankfest. So Florida, come out. Put your mouse ears away. Fuck your dad, and come on by. Wait, I'm... I think that's already passed though. Oh, when is this? This is uh, the 17th. Oh shit, you're right. Okay, well, thank you, Orlando. Great time. Great time. Beautiful city. I'm at the Skank Angler- Fest sucked. You missed it. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the Angler Theater in Iowa City. Then I'm at the Rococo in Nebraska and Lincoln. Mm. Then I'm in Minneapolis. Uh, what else? Seattle, we added a show. Portland, Vancouver. Uh, Funny Bone, Albany. Buffalo. Back to Toronto for another gig. We're doing one more. And then we added a show in Boston at the Wilbur. New Orleans, New Haven, Philly. Praise Allah. We love you. We love you.